Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You know what? me. I don't want to hear that. We I, we got Zane in here, man. Yeah, Let's yeah, get to yeah. the yeah, Zane. So you know so, saying? how did you end up uh, on uh, uh, BMF? The the how did you end up dealing with a fifty on that? Man, it's just been a long journey, man. Just um, you know, I went on a couple auditions. Um, you know, and Tasha called me. Well, my agent called me and was like, "We got this audition for you." I didn't know what it was at the time, and when he sent it to me, I saw it was a BMF. I went into it like I didn't really even think I was gonna get it. I ain't gonna be. I, I ain't even gonna hold you like. I was just like, I ain't gonna get this shit. And I just went in there, kind of did it like, you know, like I ain't care about it. But I guess the part called for that. The part yeah. called for like, <laughs> gotta part, work it out. The well, part, he, what did he do? <laughs> one, the, part, the part called for somebody with an attitude. Nonchalant. <laughs> somebody nonchalant. Whatever. So it's like, literally, like, usually when I do an audition, I might do it like three, four times and sit there and look at it, pick the best one. But this one, I just did it that one time. It was just like, all right, sit in there. Like really, like me and you talking. I'm like, uh, oh, so it's a video audition. You had yeah, to it was do. A, it was it a wasn't taping. In it wasn't in, okay. it was in person. You know what I mean? It wasn't an in person. It was right. a taping. And that's another thing too, man. Sometimes, you know, I think when you go in the in person, you be nervous. Mm. You know, what of I'm course, because it's somebody really just reading it to you. Like you all into it. Like you like, yeah, and blah, blah. and they're just like this. So what did you do yesterday? <laughs> okay, boom, boy. They that's their job to just be straight, plain, that's right. Shalot, and you still gotta have that energy, yes. everything, right? And you're trying so, to read their emotion, and they're not yeah. showing any. So when you do the self tape, it's kind of like a little different because you're not expecting. It. So you just, you know, what I mean, self tape. You already mentally like, okay, it's just, it's just me. But when you naturally, if you're in a room and we're giving each other, we're feeding off of each other. You want that feed off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think I was doing too good with. And I don't do too good with in person. Yeah, yeah, you like you like that. Yeah, you like the the, the yeah. ones that you have to say. I think I do not. You know, I ain't gonna take. I'm gonna take that back because I booked before. But what I want to say is, it's better to me to self tape is like because you got a chance mm -hmm. to do it a couple times, do look it at it, send the best one. I think that's the fairest. But when you get in, you might have a bad first. You might have a bad day right before you got an audition. So now that affects your in-person audition. But you don't know what they're looking for. Just like you exactly. said, you know, you went in with this don't care attitude and you when, didn't realize that that's what they were looking don't, for. Went in with a don't care attitude. Exactly. That's what they was looking for. About two weeks later, I heard back, okay, well, you want you want standby? I was like, all right, cool, just stand by me. My agent's like, well, you just stand by. Stand by. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So you can't really plan nothing else. You <laughs> shit coming in, you just like, okay, I can't really do nothing. Then another week went by. So about for about three weeks, you know, it was just that, did he get it, boom, boom. So finally they called, was like, you shoot on this day, boom, boom. And it was just crazy. Like, so, but I worked with Tasha about about two, three years before I did BMF on a movie called When I, When Love Kills. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a small part in it. I was a little DJ in it. And, um, but she said that one line, I was in the corner, like, practicing it. Like, it was the last line, the, the only Give line I ever had in life. She was like, he over there practicing that one line. And basically, um... You know the work ethic. She was just like, I knew I wanted to work with you on something else. So, BMF came up, did my little, you know, my little one-two boom on the audition. So I guess when it came across the table, just timing, timing. I, I like it, man. You know I, I, I I think that's that's dope. I, I really I really like the way that you you working, nigga. Yeah. You working, these niggas. I don't understand. We here acting classes when nobody looking. Yeah. Acting classes. Watching a lot of movies, watching a lot of, like, I'm a movie kind of sort. Like, I love watching films, but it's hard for me to just watch a movie because I'm, I'm looking at the moments, the You're pauses. You're looking at the, the different things. You know, because I want right. to be the best. I'm watching the Denzels. I'm watching. I study Denzel. I study. Do you imitate their accents and stuff like that? Um, not, You know, one thing about me, I can I can imitate almost any accent. I think since a kid, that's been, like, my gift. Like, if I hear something enough, like What's naturally. the best accent that you can imitate? I mean, I, I, I can't something. really say, oh, this is my such <laughs> accent. I just know, like, I can get on the phone and do some. Don't you, do you it, won't man. Think, you won't, like you you won't think it's me. You won't think it's me, you know what I'm saying? But my man be saying it's racist sometimes. Nervous, <laughs> he be saying it's racist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, look. He he if I walk in a Jamaican store, I'm talking to my brethren. Brethren, what's up, brethren? You know she's Jamaican, right? My youth, my youth. You know what I'm saying? We go down yonder, down yard. We go down yonder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but you know, it's just with me. It's like I love people, man. I me love too. people. I love culture. You know what I'm saying? I love different cultures. So yeah. it don't be me trying to be funny. I'm really just trying to embrace relate, it. You right? know what I'm saying? Embrace. Trying to embrace it. Like Chinese people might say, like you know, growing up watching Chinese flicks. You know what I'm saying? When I try to talk like them, I wasn't trying to 
be racist. I was trying to like, yo, I, this is cool to me. Like, I'm one of them kids that mad because I don't know know how to speak a language. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.